fun. I didn't even learn it until college, and it's like something so simple. I feel like just off a chop, sometimes you keep getting beat. A guy has a good chop, he's quick, beats you, you go lip arm. So it's a little different. You know he's going chop, you already got flattened out maybe once or twice for him. But he gets on top off the whistle, you know it's coming. So he goes, boop, whistle starts. I just go limp in, limp arm. I shrug my shoulder all the way up, and now it's like I'm a fresh start. I beat him. I'm gonna try to explode right after I do that or just keep moving. So the whistle goes, boop, chop. Get my hands, maybe I go short sit. Maybe if I'm exposed so I can stand on my feet. So again, I'll just feel the chop whenever. Stand on my feet and control. I'm out. That's one of them for off the whistle. Another one I learned, I picked up off this kid. I, I was competing with him for a spot at first, and now he's 49. Tyson Debris from PA. He does this a lot. He's a little lazy wrestler, but this one works. Off the chop, he uses the momentum and kind of falls with it. And he calls it a floppy dot because he kind of just flops and the guy falls over. He uses this, this back ankle over here. He's going to elevate it, kick it out. As I turn, to it, I kind of sit out. Keep the momentum moving. You want to beat his hips a little bit. You could do it off a claw as well. If you claw rise, boom, kick out, punch. Sit out, just try to beat his hips. Keep moving to that side. One more time. Use his momentum, I fall inside his leg, kick it up. Sit my butt. Just something to play with. Those two things. Any questions on those? Oh.